Hello viewers, uh, good day to you. My name is Kostan Kuomo. This is 263 Chat on the Gospel Program and I do have uh, Pastor G today, uh, of course, to elaborate uh, to us about uh, the concert which is going to happen on the 23rd, uh, hosted yeah. by Living Word Deliverance uh, Choir. So, Pastor G, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, my brother. It's a joy to be here. Thank you so much. So may you tell us more about uh, the gospel concert, the participants, and so forth? Well, the gospel concert is, uh, is going to be a very unique concert, which comes at, the, at, at a very unique time in our nation of Zimbabwe. Um, you know, as we know, Easter is about to descend upon us in a, in a couple of weeks' time. So on the 23rd, LDC Choir, Living Word Deliverance Church Choir, um, is hosting a, a concert uh, like no other uh, at the Seven Arts uh, Center in Avondale. It's going to be a power-packed concert. And as you know, being the Easter, the theme of the concert is Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, which talks about, uh, uh, you know, um, Jesus being the center of that, of, of, of that, of that. The problem is the gospel these days has taken away Jesus from the gospel. So this choir is going to be talking about Jesus of Nazareth and painting the story of Jesus in song. And, we, and they're going to be joined by myself, Pastor G, and of course... Uh, award-winning artist Janet Manyoa is going to be part of that concert, um, as well as Uzo Paradza, uh, Sharon Manyika, uh, Anno Joy, and Martha Zidane. And these are mainstays of the LDC choir. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, a, a power-packed, fun-filled, at the same time, very, very, very entertaining evening of worship and gospel music. And the tickets are available at Talk City Joiner Join Center. And also, they are also um, going to be available at the door. And um, it's going to be it's gonna be at the Seven Arts Center in Avondale. Plenty of parking. It's going to be just an interesting, wonderful time together. The 23rd of March, Friday night, starting at 5.30 p.m. exactly. And be, see you there or be square. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's quite promising, Pastor G, I should <laughs> say. But uh, now we know our, our country has been used now to mm. those concerts. Uh, would you like to tell the Zimbabweans that what makes this concert so much different from all other concerts that have been hosted in different mm. corners of the country? I think it's going to be a very... Uh, what's unique about this concert is, like I said a little bit earlier on, it's, this is Easter coming up. And, a lot, and as I've said, a lot of uh, uh, um, Jesus has been taken away from the gospel. It's now about the gospel, about papas and so many other people. You know, it's no longer centered on Jesus Christ. You know, it's centered on human beings. And exactly what this concept is unique about is that it's lifting up the name of Jesus more than anything. And it's, 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 it's more like a musical, I must say. When you look at the way LDC is going to be presenting this choir, I mean, it's, it's music. It's songs that are, uh, that, are, that are depicting the life of Jesus from his birth to his death and to his resurrection and his impact on society after that. And so it's going to be unique in that sense. It's the gospel really being preached through song. Uh, yeah, so that's what makes it unique. Uh, thank you so much. So what in particular uh, Zimbabweans should expect from this co con concert? The wow. Uh, expectation that... I love your question. I love your question. You see, when you, when you look at um, LDC Choir and uh, the sort of music they do, it's, it's a cross-pollination of genres. There's Afrofusion there. There's Afro-jazz there. There's Museve. There's Jit. There's uh, Chimurenga sort of vibes there as well. Then there's worship as well as contemporary sounds that are going to be represented within that, with that, with that spectrum of music that's being done that night. Plus, of course, you will have the original, the one and only street preacher, Pastor G. Also, I'll be sharing the stage with the choir. I'm going to be singing with the choir one song, but also I'm going to be doing uh, several of my pieces on my own. Then you've got uh, probably the most most relevant artist of our time in Zimbabwe at the moment, Janet Manyoa. 
the lady of the moment, uh, award-winning artist. She's also going to be singing at this concert. It's going to be interesting, I guess. Uh, then I, I wanted to understand something. We, we, we know that in Zimbabwe we have seen some gospel artists joining with the, the Museve artists, joining with the Sungura artists, if I can say, mm -hmm. joining with the other artists outside the gospel uh, right. Mm -hmm. So are they also welcome? Uh, the, the those who include the Museve and all you know that the gospel dilution which is happening in the musical industry. What would you like to say regarding those? I think I think art is to, and to participate. I, I believe art is art. You know, art is art. It doesn't matter whether someone is doing a collab with another artist who doesn't do uh, gospel. Uh, that's their own on their own personal convictions. Um, but this concert is unique because we're talking about Jesus of Nazareth. And so, uh, in, in reality, this concert is centering on that person, not necessarily the artists themselves. Thank you, thank you so much. So, well, before you sing for me, because definitely we are going to sing, yeah. we want to hear you sing. Um, I, mean, I would love to hear from you um, what exactly uh, people uh, from, all this, from the society should uh, get from, from, are they going to be awards? Are they going to be gifts? Uh, I mean, giving to individuals or some such thing? Um, I, I think the, the, the most important gift that's going to be given that night is the gift of music and worship. That's the most important thing, more than anything. Yeah, awards are just awards. Gifts are just gifts. But the most important gift is going to be the gift of music and worship. And I, I, I want to invite everybody, all bodies, uh, to be at this concert. It's going to be power packed. It's going to be anointed. Come and be uplifted. You know, whatever need that you have, whatever issues you're facing in your life, come to this concert and let loose and let God give you peace in, this, in, in, in that concert. Thank you very much. But lately we have seen, uh, uh, sorry for including the church now, uh, especially the Pentecostal church, mm -hmm. uh, being scrutinized by the public for becoming revenue collecting institutions you know, in terms of money. And now with the gospel concert also coming in, uh, how would you like to knit the two or to differentiate the two? Because I understand you're also from the Pentecostal uh, group. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me be very, very clear. The Bible is very, very clear on money and tithing. It's a biblical thing. Um, I don't want to go into the nitty gritties or, 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 or dynamics of that. It's a very biblical thing. Uh, you know, the giving of money, because the work of God needs to be done. It requires money. In as much as your radio station and your TV station and your online media house needs funding, so does the work of God need funding. So uh, I guess, you know, one of the major sources of that funding is from the people of God itself. There is, of course, extremes that are there, uh, that have been uh, uh, exercised. But uh, from... The churches that I know and the people and from where I come from, you know, there's always good governance, way, the way the money is used and whatever is done. And so in terms of the gospel concert, the gospel concert needs lighting. The venue costs money. The artists cost money. Uh, the, the advertising, us being on radio, on TV, uh, advertising this con concert also requires money. So money is not an evil thing. As people want to, to say, it's amoral. Money is like a vehicle. Yeah? You can take a car and you can transport drugs. Yeah? You can take a car and transport bank robbers. But also you can use a car to transport people to church. You can take a car and transport people to do community work. You can take a car and transport people to Chat 263, one of the leading media houses in the, in the, in the nation. <laughs> well said. There you have it from <laughs> Pastor G from the whole small. So it's going to be an explosive uh, concert on the 23rd, uh, hosted by the uh, Living uh, Word Deliverance Choir. So I know viewers are so much enthusiastic and keen to hear you uh, singing in briefly so that you can just raise some ecstasy okay. from, from them. So may you sing for, for our viewers. Yeah. Oh, 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 
Mwari Munogona. That's it. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's interesting and so sweet. I'm going to be part of this concert. I'm yeah, you have to come. Is it, is it? You have to come, yes. Thank you so much, Pastor G. God bless you. Thank you. Mm. In our first episode, we had uh, Pastor G who was explaining and telling us more about the gospel concert which is happening on the 23rd of this month. And of course, he has pledged that it's going to be an explosive, uh, one, of its, one of its own kind uh, in, in Zimbabwe. So now I'm joined by uh, Anna, Anna Joy yes. to <laughs> give us more detail, especially on the side of, of the age of... Um, of, of age, actually, the population of age, the girls, the youths, uh, what are you telling them regarding this uh, gospel concert? Well, I mean, not much. I feel like I should just let the music speak for itself on the day, you know. Everybody just come and worship Jesus, you know, it's all about God. There's going to be everything for everyone. I think earlier on we had um, Pastor Jeevan talking about how we have all genres of music. And I am bringing you the hip-hop and the pop, but there's going to be everything for everyone. So just come and worship Jesus with us and just come and release yourself to the Lord and to the Spirit of God. Yeah, ah, that's powerful. Yeah. So <laughs> what would you like to say? You know that dressing friends are, you know, the Western kind of culture of dressing, yeah. how it has <laughs> taken over the yeah. youths, uh, the boys and girls, you know, True. and stuff. It's especially what, what we see in town on daily basis. Mm. So what would you like to address to them in terms of the attire, in terms of the dress code, which they are going to put uh, on, on, on the day in question, on the concert day, when they are coming to, uh, to, 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 to the gospel concert? What kind of dressing, dress code? Would, are there any demarcations that you are saying this type? <laughs> you can put this, take like, this kind and you can't put this one. On the, I, oh, oh, can you tell them? That's a, that's a tricky question. You know, I think um, dressing is not the, the most important thing. With, with the concert, but like, just come in anything you can dance in, you know? Just come in anything you can be free and just let loose and just come and have a good time. Just make sure in the process, you know, it's, it's not something that will make people focus on you and not on the, on the stage, so yeah. Okay. You know, just be comfortable. Uh, no, that's good. So people just have to dress in a way that, I, I mean, yeah. that makes somebody who sees them going there address them as Christians. Is that not so? Definitely, no, you know, they, yeah. They, but we don't judge. If, if somebody happens to walk in and they're looking some type of way, you know, it doesn't matter. It we doesn't. hope the music will minister to them. Is it? That's <laughs> yeah. going to be interesting, of course. So. Uh, <laughs> now, can you tell me something? Uh, we have seen a lot of young uh, gospel artists who are trying to break the ceiling, you know, getting into the industry. Yeah. But you know how hard it is when they are beginning. Are you also going to offer them a platform to sort of maybe perform maybe for a very short time? What are you telling them that, that the young uh, uh, gospel artists who are just coming up? What kind of an advantage can they take regarding this uh, concert? Well, you know, this, this concert is mainly centered on the Living Word Deliverance Choir, LDC, and they're mainly focusing on kind of like introducing themselves to the Zimbabwean market and just like resuscitating their brand. But at the, at the moment, we don't really, uh, we're not really offering anything yet to the young guys, but we will keep you up to date and we might just come up with a little something you know I know we have our annual Arts for Christ Family Fund Day coming up soon that's always a big opportunity for the youngsters to come in and just give us their sound yeah it is Anujo is saying young artists young gospel artists in uh, precisely they are welcome to come and see how things are done yeah and if there is anything which they can offer them for them to grow in the industry they will give it their best. And of yes, course, definitely. Anna Joy, can you yeah. just conclude by telling uh, the people the objective behind the gospel concert on the 23rd of March this month? Right. So apart really from what I just said earlier, which is to resuscitate and to introduce ourselves, it really is to minister. You know, in the book of Ephesians 2 verse 10, it says, for we are his workmanship, we're called by God to do his good works, you know, and to Christ. I'm just kind of, you know, saying it like in passing, but I mean, we are just here to minister to you and we are just here to send a message. You know, God loves you and he cares for you and come and worship with us, you know. Let's, let's come and together this Easter and just celebrate the Jesus of Nazareth and all that he's done for us. Yeah. 
I am persuaded to believe that it's going to be an interesting concert, an Fire. exciting <laughs> contest. So, can you just also, just like Pastor G, I'm not going to get you away with me, but can okay. you also <laughs> let your viewers hear your voice? Okay. Can you just sing for a while? Okay, can I give you a song to sing? Oh, oh I'm not okay. going to do that. Can you just sing from your own? Okay, which song did you want me to sing? Okay, I, I wanted you to sing. Um, uh, the one by Fungisa Jagawa Pano. I, oh, I don't think I, I can sing that one. Okay, okay can you sing <laughs> can, any one of my, your choice? Any one of, of my choice? Yeah. Okay, I think I'll do a common song. Suppose we are rehearsing for the gospel concert, you know, so you have to be serious. <laughs> oh, okay, I have to. I have to, okay. Yeah. Um, in that case, I'll do my song. It's called right. My Everything, okay? All right, all right. <clears throat> your voice is good. Yeah, okay, I'm ready now. I'm ready. Um, you're my everything, my God, I give you everything, yeah. Jesus, you're my rock, my savior, my king. And I'll save the rest for the 23rd. No, but I was about <laughs> to join you when you just started. <laughs> Sorry, you anyway, join Anyway, thank you, yeah. Olive. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our fathers and our mothers, our brothers and sisters, you have just heard it. It's the uh, gospel concert hosted by Living Word Deliverance Choir on the 23rd of this month. And it's just a rehearsal of how much explosive the Easter conference will be. Thank you. Hi, I'm Anna Joy. And I'm Pastor G. And we're inviting you to the LDC concert on the 23rd of March at 7 Arts Theatre. It's going to be happening. It's going to be going down. LDC choir, a choir that focuses a lot on different genres of music. And we're going to, they're going to be presenting Jesus of Nazareth like mm. you've never heard or seen him before. On Easter. On Easter. Mm. So make sure to join us, come and worship with us. It's going to be a night of worship, of blessings. The presence of God is going to fill the place. And tickets are available at Talk City Joiner Center. Uh, get yours today. Get three, get four. Buy for your neighbor, buy for your friends. $5 standard, $10 VIP. See you there. And remember, it's the 23rd, Friday night. Easter will never be the same. See you there. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.